Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you another video by Proenus. Hello ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? It is your host, the one that only one head is. And today guys, I'm going to be telling you a really funny life story about how two of my friends streaked at this camp we were at. So essentially, if you guys didn't know, I actually go to a Catholic school. So one of the things that we're required to do as seniors is go on a senior retreat. And this retreat takes place at this camp in New Hampshire. They've got some nice basketball courts, nice fields. It's on a lake. It's a really nice place. And basically we go there to kind of get in touch with who we are spiritually. I know it sounds kind of lame, but the whole setting is going to give you guys a better grasp on what this whole video is about. So essentially what happens is we had just finished our spiritual talk that we had had for the night and we're really supposed to go to bed at like 9.30 or 10. That's when the lights out schedule is, but no one really goes to bed at that time. So usually what we would end up doing for the four days that we were there is we would use our free time and go to the indoor basketball court and we would just play basketball. So we were doing 5v5 basketball. It's 1 a.m. in the morning. Our other camp leaders are there. We're just having a good time. And one of my friends goes up for a layup and actually ends up spraining his ankle. Now we all looked at the ankle and everyone was absolutely sure that his ankle was broken. There was no way you could look at his ankle and say that it wasn't broken. I mean, it was the biggest bulge on someone's ankle I've ever seen in my entire life. So what really sucks is keep in mind, it's like 1.30 in the morning right now and the camp director, the person who actually owns the camp has to be woken up and we had to notify her that someone has gotten injured. So essentially what she has to do is go with one of our spiritual leaders to the nearest hospital, which is like 30 minutes away. And we were all just told to go to bed, but we were like, ah, no, forget it. We're going to stay up and wait for our friend to come back from the hospital. It shouldn't take too long, probably about two or three hours. So we all decided to stay up and talk. So one of the rules that the camp too is that the guys weren't allowed to go into the girls cabin and the girls weren't allowed to go into the guys cabin stuff like that and that's really just to protect from you know sexual stuff but none of us were really going to do anything sexual we just wanted to hang out and talk for the night so all the guys end up going over to the girls cabin and we're just talking and if you throw a bunch of teenagers in a room inappropriate things start to happen and one of the things that we start playing is truth or dare so i forget actually who made the dare it really doesn't matter because i'm not going to use specific names in this video but two of my friends were dared to go outside the girls cabin get completely naked and run from the girls cabin all the way to the other side of the camp, which was probably like a quarter of a mile away. And at the very end, there was the basketball hoop. So they're supposed to go there, like touch the stairs to the basketball court and then run back. Keep in mind, they're gonna be triggering every single floodlight. So we all knew that this was gonna be absolutely hilarious. So my two classmates go outside and they strip down all the way down to their underwear and they're ready to start going. They're looking at each other, they're getting all hyped up. They're trying to convince each other to actually do this. And just as one of my friends is pulling his pants down, one of the teachers in the boys cabin peers out and says, what's going on out there? And my two friends freak out. Keep in mind, all the girls and all the other guys are watching from the girls cabin. And when we hear our teacher peek out the window and look at us, we all ran. So we we all run back into the girls cabin we turn the lights off we hide underneath the beds because we're not technically supposed to be up this late and especially considering that two of our friends were just outside naked about to sprint across the entire camp we were all freaking out as to what kind of trouble we were gonna get in so we flick off the lights we're all laying low and we're waiting there for a couple minutes and our teacher actually ends up coming up to the door he comes up to the door of the girls cabin and knocks and we're all freaking out we're giggling we really can't keep quiet at this point i am mortified at what the teacher's gonna do to us because this this guy is a jesuit like he's part of the Jesuit society, you know, so he's probably thinking like how inappropriate this is. The camp's going to be so mad at us. We're never going to be allowed to come here again. So he knocks in the door and I forget who said it. Someone says, come in. And he leans in the window and starts singing to us. We all start bursting out into laughter and everyone in the cabin is just laughing their butts off. So after he stops singing, our teacher actually opens the door and comes in. And he's just like, hey, what are you guys doing? And we say, oh, not much. We're just waiting for our friend to get back from the hospital, just hanging out. And he says, all right, that seems reasonable. It's nice of you to wait up for him. They're probably going to be back soon. Don't stay up for too much longer and just be responsible. Don't be too loud because keep in mind the other campers are trying to sleep. And we're like, yep, we'll be careful. Thank you very much. And he walks out. We were all absolutely amazed that he did not actually see our classmates naked. I mean, maybe he did and he just chose not to say anything about it. But nevertheless, if they had actually gone streaking, that would have been one of the most hilarious things ever. And if he had caught them, this story probably would have been even better. And it's a little unfortunate that they didn't get caught. I mean, it's it's still a funny story nonetheless. And even now, now that it's a couple weeks after the retreat happened and we've gotten a chance to talk to the teacher, we still don't know if he actually saw them naked. Ah, but who knows? Maybe we'll find out someday. But anyways, guys, really hope you all did enjoy this video. If you guys did, really, really appreciate you guys to smack that like button. It really does help the channel grow. And if you guys want to hear more life stories like this. I've got a couple more I can share with you guys. It really would mean a lot to me if you would let me know if you enjoyed it down in the comment section below and also smack that like button if you did enjoy. Be sure to also subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Check out all the social media links in the description below. And until next time, guys, keep gaming and as always, stay cool. Adios. And this has been another commentary by Proenus.